Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you my Lightroom workflow and how I go about doing that. So let's dive into the Lightroom right by here and I'll show you exactly how I edit my photos. Okay, to start off with, I normally try and straighten the horizon, but couldn't straighten the horizon there. So it, it seems pretty, pretty straight, which is fine. And then I normally, so I'm going to crop it for Instagram because that's where most of my photos go. So that'd be a one by one. And then I play around with the composition, trying to get it just right, how, how I like it. You know, I try and use the rule of thirds, great. So basically there's that little, little rock going out there in the photo. So I'm gonna try and, you know, use that as, as the, the mid ground. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I do have loads of presets in here, you know, which sort of do a good job, um, you know, get you a bit of the way there. But we're gonna do this from scratch today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the exposure a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of contrast. Now this obviously all depends on whether, how you like your photos to look. This is personally how I like them, sort of, you know, a bit faded, but with a deep bit of contrast still there. So then after that, I'm gonna take the highlights right down. Like I take them all the way down, like all the way. And then I bring up the shadows a bit. That's it. This is quite a bright photo, so I don't need to bring up the shadows that much, but sometimes when the photos are not as bright or if they're in a dark area, I, I bring the shadows right up. But that seems about right to me. And then I punch up the whites a little bit. And then I normally just leave the blacks how they are. Now coming down onto the curves, what I tend to do is I do a little S curve into the, the curve. There we go, so I bring that top bit up, we'll bring that bottom bit down a little bit. And then with the bottom one, I raise it a little bit. Now what this does is it just takes like the full on darkness out of your shadows and blacks. And I find this really good to add like a really nice like sort of faded old filmy look. And that's, that's how I've been liking to edit them at the moment. Okay, moving down to the color section. Now, I go to white balance and then I click auto white balance, but Lightroom has a really thing of just making everything really warm and I don't want it to be that warm. I just want it to be a little bit warmer. So I'm gonna go for around there and then I'm gonna go into saturation and I boost that about seven, eight. That sounds about right. And now if you look at this photo here, there's a lot of yellows and greens. So normally I start off with the greens and I push the hue up towards a sort of uh, yeah sort of like a leafy leaf more leafy green like a more unnatural green than natural green and then I bring the luminance up a bit as well that's just to make it a bit brighter then we're going to go into the yellows I'm going to drop the yellows down a little bit towards the oranges and then once again I'm going to boost boost the uh, luminance in that now I'm going to come on to the turquoise and it's just about playing around with this but I'm going to drop it down a little bit and then I'm going to bring the darkness down in it as well and I'm going to boost the saturation ever so slightly so we're just, this is how we're progressing nicely into the blues now I normally drop the blues a fair bit towards that towards that turquoisey colour I like this I like a nice turquoisey colour there drop drop the luminance again just to make it a bit darker and with the I'm gonna do the oranges sometimes I don't use the oranges sometimes I don't use the, the end once the purples pinks because I shoot a lot of landscapes and you know natural outdoor stuff so it all depends on whether I need to or not but I tend to not really use them that much and then I'm just gonna have a little play around I tend to push these a bit more towards the red we're gonna what are we gonna do? We're gonna boost it, we're gonna drop it down a fair bit, like so. And that should do it for the color mix of the time being. Now, sometimes I do grade the, the photos, but it, I'd be really subtle with it and depends what it is. So with like this one, I'd probably with the highlights just drop it ever so slightly. I see if it Little bit goes a long way in this. That's the thing. So a little bit, so you can see it there in the, in the water, and a little bit in the photo. Then shadows, I'm just gonna push it ever so slightly into that orangey colour by there. 
little before and after, like so. And then I leave the mid-tones, I don't really drop it, but then you can have a little play around with the blending. Um, with this thing, it's sort of just having a little look at it, play around what, what works nicely. You've got to find a nice sort of mid-ground, I have to say. So, something around there, I would say, for the time being. And you can always come back to it as well if you're not, you know, if, if you edit more later on and you think, oh, I could change that a little bit. So, yeah, you can always come back to it later on. And the first one I normally do in here is the clarity, and I just push that ever so slightly. Now, I have a tendency to sometimes overdo the clarity, but just want to add a little bit, same with the days, a little bit of days. And then, because we've got some nice rocks in there, a little bit of texture, but not too much. So we're, move, we're moving on nicely. Then I add a vignette. What I tend to do is whack it right up and then you can see it a bit clearer. Then I, I make the adjustments to the roundness, the feather, all that. And then I bring it back down to where I sort of want it to be. Okay, and then sharpen, I normally sharpen it to about 60, just because I feel like this Lumex, you can really sharpen it up and it and retain a lot of the information. Don't really do the noise reduction, I do enable lens, lens correction and remove chromatic aberration. To take those two there, just make sure you've got the right camera and lens settings on there, which I do right there. Okay, and that's get, that gets you to go to a good base. So this is the before and after, if you can see there. And then what I do now, now this is a new feature in it and it's great, I think. It's been around for a little bit now and it's the Select Sky tool in Lightroom. So what I normally do is tend to is select the sky. So like you see, it's quite, it's quite a hazy day this is. Um, so it's there and then I just bring the highlights right down a little bit. Add a bit of days, not too much though. But there's no, normally with clouds, it may, you know, you can really get it standing out. Um, but yeah, so then add a bit of days, and then I go into the colorize, and then I just add a little bit of blue, but not too much, like that. So, and that's roughly how I would edit photos in Lightroom. Now there is obviously many other ways you can do that, but this is how I like to do it. And if you like to do it this way or similar ways, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your styles, what you like, because it's you know subjective. It's not one right or wrong way of doing it. It's just how you like doing it. And this is the way I found that works for me, for my style. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. It really does help. I've also made a video about uh, photography tips, top 10 photography tips, which I'll leave up one of those two, up one of these sides, I can't remember which side it is, um, for you to check out if you want to learn and grow your photography skills. This is just talking about the technical post-production side of things, but that talks about more, uh, more of the theory behind it. So if you're interested in that, go check it out. It'd be really appreciated. But once again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.